Hello and welcome to one of the most atmospheric venues in the game of football, St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Newcastle United up against Aston Villa. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And here's the Newcastle formation. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Bruno Guimaraes in central midfield. And the striker is a player with considerable know-how, Callum Wilson. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. John McGinn plays with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Ollie Watkins. And here's how Newcastle United line up. Number 22, Nick Pope. Number 5, Fabian Scar. Number 33, Dan Byrne. Thank you for attending St James's Park. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. Teammates in the middle. Well, it wasn't a taxing save. Trippier. Sandro Tonali. Wilson with it. Sloppy in possession from Newcastle. McGinn. On to Diaby. A bit of running room now on the wing. Crossing into the middle. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Moving it forward. Who can he pick out? And a no-nonsense clearance. Coutinho. He's in here. Well, it might still work out for them. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic... And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Can John Scott, what's John Scott? Please make your way to the... Joel Linton. You have your wife's ticket. Here's Thank Isaac. Good-looking sequence. The cross is on. Can they convert? And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Let's take another look at this. And from the attacking point of view, everything's right. A shot across the goalkeeper. Players coming in for the rebound. And there's not much the goalkeeper could do about that. He made a good effort on the first one. Couldn't react to the second. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Tielemans and now Coutinho and in the perfect position to read it 
And the Magpies finding space on the flank. Options in the middle. The delivery towards the back post. Well, the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. John McGinn. And the ball back with Newcastle here. Well, there it is. Newcastle just haven't had as much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Oh, showing excellent vision. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, but I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Ollie Watkins. Here's Tielemans. Coutinho has options. Diaby. Very quick thinking there. Newcastle will get the throw in. Sandro Tonali. And on the ball is Cher. A very good tackle. Options in the centre. Miguel Almiron. This looks promising out wide. Come off the keeper. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And no more time left. That will conclude the first half here at St. James's Park. Well, he hasn't quite had the impact and attack that we were expecting, Stuart. Yeah, he's not played well, has he? He's just failed to have an impact here. Mind you, I think we could say that about the whole team. He just hasn't looked like scoring today. So back in business here, the second half is underway. And my goodness, the Magpies really took flight in the first 45. Will it be a repeat performance this half? Wilson. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Coutinho. Watkins. Might be able to get in behind the defence. A fine block. And it took a touch on the way through. So a corner here. Over it comes. The clearance wasn't decisive. Coutinho. Now this could really lift spirits. Not to be, and still chasing this game. Well, that was the chance to get back into this. As it is, they're going to struggle now. Dan Byrne. It's with Joe Linton. Promising move this from Newcastle. 
but they took care of the situation defensively the referee correctly decided to play advantage and options in the centre oh a fine block substitution for Newcastle United coming off the pitch number 24 Miguel Amron to be replaced by number 15 Harvey Barnes Corner kick played in. Well, the danger is still there. Diaby. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Callum Wilson. Coutinho. He could pick out a teammate. Takes the shot. Terrific block. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest. Well, as you can see, he gets a touch on this, but it's not quite enough to stop the goal. It was a good effort, though. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. 20 minutes to go. And Newcastle pushing forward with options available. Could be! A oh, tremendous block. It might be! And a goal! They've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, here it is again, and when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that, it's a poor clearance, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. So they get the ball moving again, 3-1 the scoreline here, what's going to happen next? Ramsey it's looking promising really vital interception here now counter-attacking possibilities here will it be sufficiently imaginative but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end and as a player goes throw in coming up here and they will make the change now. To be replaced by number 13, Matt Tiger. Moving forward effectively. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. again tremendous block and so into the final five minutes McGinn McGinn that's a nice looking ball well dealt with that ball comfortably Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Alex Moreno. Tielemans. Got to it easily, the keeper. And there goes the final whistle and the final outcome, a victory for the Magpies. What did you make of it?
well, Derek. They were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he scored one and could have had a lot more. But if you keep getting into the right areas, the goals will come. I thought he was very good today.